a sick, ugly feeling of wanting to love and to be loved back. Which never ends well. So if we're talking about what happened out there, then yeah, there was trauma. But being a teenage girl in normal ass America, that was the real living hell. Island, if that doesn't boost you out of your funk, I don't know what will. <laughs> Please don't refer to my emotional devastation as a funk. Le not faces, not names, not the ridiculous welcome video. Right now. Is that why you hang out with me? I'm so bland, it gives you a chance to recharge. I get it. My hair is all one color. I'm a virgin that still drinks dairy milk. Shit, I really am boring. Actually, by I think the waiting room was like a metaphor, though, for how stuck she felt. Tell him yourself, he's coming next week. Some kind of school-wide literary event. Looks like we'll need one little group of three. Or you can just sit this one out. Here's what I did. I sat in my fucking love puddle was turning in in her class. <laughs> anyway, I thought that uh, we would start with the reading. My brother. I'll do it. Oh, God, thanks. You are not safe. They used to jump rope together until Angelina tripped doing double touch and broke three of her teeth. I had to turn them. Maybe you just like the way your world feels when they're in it. I feel like I should be asking you about your book. No. I have to write an essay on it, so. I love your help. <laughs> okay. I loved it. I really did. But at the end, like it got a little weird, like it got a little sent feedback out of anybody. So, uh. You can't just file them in your contacts between your cousin and your chem lab partner. That would make him common. So you learn his number every contour of every digit. You carve those little hieroglyphs on your heart. Like an ingrown hair. Well, there was. Parents, you were an Uber. What are you doing here? I thought the San Jose reading didn't end in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so who was it? Him. Damn. <laughs> I had no idea you were such a bad bitch. Well, in your defense, we've never really talked before. <laughs> yeah, but maybe in like a burning building kind of way, like it's probably really good I got out. You seem tired. Remember this when you see the others? And you try to figure us out. There is no crazy. There's only damage. And when you go looking for what caused it, don't waste your time on that island. It'll get you fucking nowhere. 
You hear a phone? It's confusing. I fucked up. <sighs> Fucking typical. Okay, I feel like you can say typical about someone that you've known for a day in like a really atypical situation. Rachel, the water's insane. Do you see those waves over there, how they're breaking sideways? That's a fucking riptide. I serve. You serve. I took two lessons. Have you ever lied to someone, like to a guy maybe, and you tell them that you're into the Smiths or that you surf, and then you try to legitimize the lie by listening to the Smiths all weekend and signing up for a fucking surf lesson? No. The water's a death wish. <laughs> Shit, the mirror. Leah, Leah. No, 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 stop. We don't need it. Man. I can get it. Can you get it? Leah. Yeah, I can see stop. it, I can see it, I can see it. Oh. Right there. Get it? Oh. I can see it. Oh. Get it, oh. get it, oh. get it, oh. get it. Oh. Get it, oh. get it. Oh. Oh. Get it. Oh. I'm trying to pull her up. Oh. 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 I'm here. Oh. <laughs> you ready to bring your A game? I mean, I'm ready to bring an A game. I have no idea what kind. My mom once told me the three most stressful things in life are divorce, the death of someone close to you, and moving. We're stranded in a wasteland. There's been a death, and we're moving. If someone gets a divorce up in this piece, we should 100% throw ourselves in the ocean. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I started reading some of your man's book. Uh, th that's private. Private? It's published. Yeah, I know, but uh, oh, there's... Oh, the love notes. Relax, I only skimmed. Oh, but I had a thought. So the book is about this super pretty, totally inexperienced 22-year-old girl, right? I guess. So it's kind of pervy, no? I mean, in the cradle robbing sense, like between you and the book, I get the sense this guy likes recent vintage. Fuck off. Well, sorry. Oh, you took your splint off. Yeah, I feel like a brand new woman. I wonder if I'll actually say that and mean it one day. I kind of hope not. A brand new woman. They only say that in old shampoo commercials. Well, you get what I mean. I want to be changed by something. You don't think all this will do the trick? I'd rather be changed by something good. Like love. What's it like? Really, being in love? Cool, so what did Fatten tell you? Nothing. She read me some of the book and the little notes great. inside. Great, no, that's great. So uh, any hot takes on what a creepy must have been and that I'm nothing but a teenage fetish object? No, like, I don't, I don't, I haven't even, I thought the whole thing was super romantic. It's misery, Martha, that's, that's what love is. Misery, doubt, and a shit ton of self-loathing. Yeah, no, extremely not. Wait, why are you just sitting there? No, she can't do something like not constructive. Is that constructive enough for you? Are you off to scour the island for some random guy to fuck, since that seems to be the entirety of your personality? Like, if I was gonna go to pound town with some 30 year old, it's because I know he has a fetish for teenage ones. I would never be such an idiot to think he was actually into me. You're fucking oh, helping. You're Jesus. fucking hurting me. You're Leah, you don't have to do that. Let go of me. Or what?
That is such bullshit. You're a goods provider because you had the stupid good fortune to find your fucking bag. Yep. We vote. Anyone who wants to give up a drink they carefully save for somebody who did jack shit all day, raise your hand. Should we go after her? No. Fuck her. This basically sums up how much she cares about our welfare. You need to try. <laughs> I have insane HPV. What, too far? Boris. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. Hey, stop. Oh, Let her go. Hey, hey, stop. And you had the audacity to call me a psycho. Give it stop. <laughs> Fuck me up. Hey! We have to go find her. I mean, she probably just wandered off to troll us or to masturbate with her stupid electric toothbrush, but... We all know she can't survive the wilderness by herself. She can't even survive a Holiday Inn. We'll probably hear her whining before we see her. Keep an ear out for somebody bitching about their flat hair. <laughs> yeah, you know, of course you're giving up! You have no problem dragging people into your stunts, but as soon as it doesn't fit your agenda, you bail. I didn't know that. Fucking crazy! No screaming, that did not help my case. I swear I'm not fucking crazy. We have to keep walking. We can't stop walking. Sun will be going down soon, Leah. You really want us out here stumbling around in the dark. We have to find her. Looking for the water, I mean. Good hustle. You know, you don't have to surrender everything <laughs> to the collective. My luckiest pair. Stop. I want to go first. I shouldn't have put your Jeff Sitch hump last. Can I go now? You have the floor. I was such a cunt to you yesterday. I know. Man, if I wasn't so personally victimized, I would have been impressed. <laughs> I'm going to try something right now. And. I can't promise that it's gonna go okay. <laughs> well, now that that pathetic display is out of the way, let's go hydrate our faces off. Felt like there was something up. I'm gonna go back. You should too.
You doing okay? Yeah. Just not that hungry. Thank you, by the way, for coming along. I know this isn't really your scene. It's not exactly yours either. Yeah, I know. I just... I spend so much time talking shit about the people in our class, and then it hit me. I don't actually hang out with them. I've been really thinking about it, about all those things you said and all that anger in your voice, and it finally fucking made sense. I know you sent him my birth certificate. I sent what to My birth certificate to Jeff. <laughs> Please don't lie about it, Ian. You're like embarrassingly bad at it. Okay, you're off the fucking deep end. What was your right plan? Now. To kill the one thing I cared about most so you can make your fucking move? What happened at the campground? That wasn't a fucking move. That was me being me who fucking likes you. And as someone who fucking likes you, I won't hesitate to shit on your 30-something boyfriend to your face. But I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna sabotage your relationship through whatever shady shit you're accusing me of right now. Call him. What? I want you to call him and tell him that it was you and that you're not gonna tell anybody else. I'm sorry, Leah. I, I can't help you. find this like utterly and completely unbelievable that Shelby just like found this bag. Leah. It's like a deus ex machina. It's like a what? It is like this perfect little thing that somehow has everything that we need and I, I find it really fucking creepy that you found this just like you did before. So like what are you saying exactly? I don't know. I think something pretty fucked is going on here, and I think somebody knows all about it. Who gave you this bag, and what the fuck do you know? Leah, settle down. I, I, I just want everybody to think about this for like two seconds. Think about what Shelby has done. She has found not one, but two magical life-saving bags. She is persistently optimistic, almost as if she knows that we are not in actual danger. She uses icebreaker after icebreaker to pump us for information, like some sort of slumber party spy, and not to mention, she didn't eat any of the fucking bustle. Said I was allergic. What the hell? Give me the lighter back. Tell us who you're working for. Just tell us what you know. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Leah! Get a grip, please. Where are you going, Shelby? 
Where do you sneak off to every morning and every night? And what the fuck is happening on this island? It's dying. I've never related so much to a toothbrush. I just want to reconnect with certain people. People who may have been worried and or felt like we had unfinished business. And if that person is watching right now, I just want to say that I did not, not miss you every day. Must go. Yeah, no, Martha, these, <laughs> these aren't candy, they're edibles. Oh, I know they're edible, I just ate them. No, no, no like, okay. <laughs> like THC. <laughs> Hot, Martha, they're <laughs> marijuana bears. Oh. Wait, wait. You're not moving back to the bay? Yeah. <laughs> So everybody thought I went insane yesterday and you were like, hold my beer. Sorry, I didn't just come to crack cringy meme jokes. Uh, I, um... I wanted to apologize for all that. And to tell you as somebody who's already gone pretty much off the rails, you should try to go easy on yourself. I know we can't blame it all on where we are, but this place, this situation, it makes you go crazy. For 16 days, actual death has been hanging over our heads. And yet the only thing I seem to give a shit about is love. Total fucking psychosis, right? Isn't that what we're all afraid of? That we won't be loved. That we'll be all alone. Leah. Thank you. Of course. Train wrecks unite. You know what I mean? It's like that fe that feeling, that itchy fucking feeling that this place is like touched. When I was seven, I had this suicidal goldfish, and we had to put mesh over the top of its bowl so it wouldn't jump out. And this one day, we went to my grandmother's house in Marin. And on the way there, I became obsessed that we had forgotten the mesh. Really, I'm on rock fucking bottom and you fucking dismiss me? Yeah, that's not Fuck what no. I, I want my mom. What the fuck?